Hey everyone, welcome back to another Can Terraria Bosses Survive. We are slowly approaching that 50th episode, which I promised we would bring in a bunch of the Hall of Fame weapons and try them against the new Ugandan Knuckles. But today, forget that. It's all about the super fast sword from the super fast sword mod. Does a lot of damage, insanely fast speed, insane knockback. Speed is all you need. Let's see it in action here. It is so fast, it doesn't even swing. That's how fast it is. Or it's swinging so fast, it doesn't even look like it's swinging. Makes the beautiful mana star noise, it sounds like. And let's go ahead, let's run up on this dummy, and let's just see the damage. Not too bad. I'm not seeing negative numbers, though. We gotta be pretty close. Maybe if I put on an armor set, we'll see negative numbers. Let me see. There is potential, okay? What if I put on, like, you know, a Titan's glove or something? I don't remember which one's the best one. Boom, power glove. L let's put on a power glove, which goes into a mechanical glove, which goes into a fire gauntlet, which goes into an elemental gauntlet, which goes in... Okay, that's it. It stops right there. All right, Calamity Mod Elemental Gauntlet. That is what we're using to help increase the power no negatives but we did go up a lot more numbers okay that's all good that's what i'm rocking today i give it a little extra firepower let's get to it let me bring a slime out kill it real quick and then let's actually get to the bosses beautiful oh my god it barely dropped any slimes on his death let's bring in the eye here now skeletron is gonna be interesting okay never mind let's bring in the queen bee she should just run right into me thank you make my life a lot easier brain of cthulhu damn i am launching the body parts do you see that they are getting launched across the map one more eyeball and then boom let's go ahead let's bring in the eater eater please just run into me you know what i'll run into you i'll make it a little bit easier oh we were like breaking parts one by one and then just a giant explosion all right let us bring in lepus and turkor of course oh lepus was behind turkor hiding almost as if lepus was scared for its life i would be this weapon is kind of intimidating the speed alone is intimidating dark mage make that beautiful scream that we all love to hear and now let us go fight the wall of flesh where are we at in a box today right here let's see how this fight goes we have like zero range with this weapon which might be a problem for later bosses but uh so far so good let's bring in the dungeon guardian here before we take on the mech bosses this i'm interested to see okay so this is what i expected to happen with skeletron but it didn't and now it's happening with the dungeon guardian we still are able to kill it it just takes a little bit of time like some previous weapons we've seen do this. It's all good. It's all good. As long as they can kill it eventually. There we go. Alright, let's bring in the mech bosses here. Hopefully I don't have too much trouble hitting them. We might. I have a dash on my side. Oh, what the heck? How did I just like do damage to him and not insta-kill him? That was interesting. Okay, let's bring in Skeletron Prime here. Come on, get over here. Bring that head over here. Destroyer, same thing. Okay, good. We didn't really need to hit the head though luckily all right plantera and golem let's go ahead let's knock these two out oh broke his hands first i had to put him in much pain as possible i had to break his hands and then break his legs and then break his wee wee that's where we're gonna stop right there though we're gonna murder him after that duke go ahead dash into me i want you to do it is it technically murder if they run into me i don't know i don't know i gotta talk to some like professional lawyers see if it's murder if they run into like if i'm just holding a sword in my hand and somebody just runs into it that's low-key technically suicide probably no idea though don't try it irl i, I don't don't even try and murder someone. why are we even talking about this why are we talking about murder when we could be talking about morning wood all right ever scream let's knock them out did them separately instead of doing them together like i usually do that sounded sus all right pumpkin this one we obviously we gotta grab and drop on my head thank you sand tank easy kill don't have to do any dragging and dropping ice queen though i do have to work a little bit to kill okay so she kind of like flies diagonally slash sideways boom put her at the right angle she runs into me let's bring in the martian saucer this one shouldn't be too bad 
Okay, they're having a little bit of trouble there. And then let's go ahead and bring in Akram Giant Bloody Explosion. You love to see it. All right, now it's time for the speed run. We are doing a pillar speed run. Let's get it. But first, we got to kill the cultists, obviously. Go ahead, like hover right here, and it should be a free kill. Boom. Okay, first pillar. Oh, kind of went a little far away. I always have troubles like putting myself right on the pillar. This is actually good time, though. That was great time. All right, and while we wait, let's go ahead. Let's fight Abyssion. Boom, we'll do the fully shelled one. I don't think it matters which one we do because this sword swings a good couple of times, so it's bound to hit it multiple times. Moon Lord time. Let me get that top eye as quick as possible. All right, we're going to have to do a little dash here to catch up with the other eyes. Boom, nice and fast fight. Let's bring out this trio here, of course. Uh, which one attacks him? The top one, right? Top one attacks first, and then the right one, then the left one, and I accidentally killed the Dream Eater. <laughs> accidentally, my bad. All right, we're going straight to the mutant after that. I'm really close to this other mutant, so I should probably like go away from it, just in case that one attacks. He already got his video, okay? He doesn't need to be in another one. All right, we are going to have to do some dash attacks here. Hold up, we got to wait for the right attack. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get that close easily. Oh, there you go. Stood still. And just like that, we murdered him. Wait. Phase 2? And then just like that, we murdered him. My boy hit me with the phase 2. I didn't think the phase 2 was coming. I thought I straight up got his ass. All right. Straight to the Calamity bosses. Storm Providence. Dead, right? Cool death animation. Or do I got to slap it one more time? No, nope, we're good. We're good. After that, straight to Yarn. We're not even in the jungle. I don't, I don't remember him having like that puff of smoke when he dies that's definitely uh newer at least to me let's bring in dog i am summoning him that way instead of the usual way and let's see if i can kill him okay phase one gone just like that and wait for it wait for that health bar is the health bar coming okay we got him no health bar even popped up it's all good he's still dead all right supreme cow one of the most annoying fights in my opinion to do in this series it just takes so long it's like unnecessarily long it's like she has to say all her dialogue 90 percent of the time all right sepulcher sepulcher does not die i was thinking maybe if i swung at it a little bit it would die but uh, i don't think i want to sit there and do that so let's just break supreme cow's heart i'm sorry i gotta break your heart now i gotta kill you Okay, I didn't kill her. We sent her into another phase. Kind of annoying, because that means, I mean, we still would probably have to wait no matter what. Okay, there's a couple things going on now. I, I think I have, might have to participate in the fight, I think. I don't know, everything is running away from me. I'm like SpongeBob when he made that Sunday and his breath smelled really bad. Nobody wants to get near me. Okay, let's finish this fight off, please. I'm going through the nine rings of hell or however the hell there is, <laughs> however many there is. I just want to continue with the video, Miss Supreme Cow. I'm being held hostage in my own video. Oh, finally, it's dead. Holy. That took a while. I legit was being held hostage. All right, next fight. Here we go. This is going to be fun. The, the frame rate killing team. Let's bring them in. All right, who wants to die first? Danatos? You want to volunteer? Oh god, there it goes. Oh, okay. They just disappeared. Let's go ahead. Let's kill Apollo and Artemis. Perfect. <laughs> I consider that a W. All right, let's fight the Eidolon Worm here before we go into the final trio. Eidolon Worm, I swear you're on this list somewhere. There you are. Dead, just like that. Didn't expect much. Don't ever expect expect much anymore. All right, let's bring in Bill Cipher and uh, let's see if we can handle these guys. These guys, I have a feeling, might be a little bit of a problem. Did we kill him? No, he's he's still chilling. There we go. We got him, but he did also get a hit on me. All right, let's bring in Ek Death. This one, I feel like I, we're not gonna kill just because we got to get so close and then sometimes the sword doesn't do enough damage i was right with my hypothesis <laughs> all right last but not least the beast from the east the ugandan knuckles and of course not no kill i can put up a fight for as long as i want we are not killing this thing 
Please let me leave the game. I can't leave the game. It's getting too framey. I can't leave the game. I got to force quit. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually found a decent handful of weapons. They may not be like super unique weapons, but I found a decent handful of like two, three more weapons we can do just so we can get to that episode 50 because I know you guys have been waiting. But again, always leave more suggestions for weapons you want to see. I'll see y'all in the next video.